And there's an interesting connection between belief and disagreement. Shouldn't be a big surprise, and disagreement will probably come up because, after all, we're interested in evaluating, analyzing arguments, so disagreement shouldn't, should pop up somewhere or other in that context. But when two people disagree, what's going on there is one person believes a certain proposition, and the other person disbelieves the very same proposition. For instance, people might disagree about whether they whether there is a God, whether God exists. One person believes that God exists. Another person believes that God doesn't exist. They are concerned about one and the very same proposition. Or, for example, let's say somebody's thinking about the recent developments by SpaceX and how we're going how we're moving forward with the space program from a private enterprise perspective and Jones believes he's a believer in what they're doing in the private in the private sector with space exploration and he believes that that a man will land on Mars before 2020 but Smith his friend who's read the same stuff disagrees with him so what's going on in this case there's a proposition P a man will land on Mars before 2020. And what's going on there is there's disagreement. What does the disagreement amount to? Jones believes that P is true, and Smith believes that P is not true. And this is the nature of disagreement. So a way of rationally resolving disagreement is if we could see come to some understanding that certain facts lead to certain other facts and we can have a discussion about it and we can analyze various arguments for P or for P's being false we should be able to resolve our disagreement but ultimately a disagreement between two people is one person believes something and the other person disbelieves it now let's turn to for a second to an example that's going to look like you can have a disagreement with which isn't a disagreement of belief but I think it's not going to be a real one think about the following situation imagine you have a friend whose name is has no license and your father believes 19 that has no license can't drive a car because he knows your friend has no and he knows has no license has no license and he is not permitted to drive in the state of New York where we live but at the same time son you know, you could put daughter in there. Uh, the son believes that 19 is false. That has no can drive a car. And we can set up the example so it looks like the two of them are right, even though it looks like they're disagreeing over a proposition. And here's this situation that is father and son in this case do not have a disagreement the way we're going to set up the case and, the, and that is because 19 is ambiguous it has more than one meaning it can be used to express different propositions what different propositions can it express well we can express the proposition that the father belief believes is true is that 19 well, the, what the, the proposition that the father believes is that has no license is not allowed, is not legally permitted to drive a car, while the son believes that not 19A but 19B is false, that has no license, that it's false that has no license does not have the ability to drive a car. In fact, he believes it's false because 
He spends his evenings driving around Brooklyn with Hasno. But in this case, again, and we have to be careful, and it's a point that's going to come up time and time again in our study of logic and argument, argument analysis, we have to be very careful about ambiguities and meaning. That is, sentences sometimes have more than one meaning. So in the case that we talked about, there really is no disagreement, even though it looks like the father and the son are having a, um, a dispute about something. They're talking past each other. They don't disagree. The son believes that has no does is not legally permitted to drive so he doesn't disagree with his father and the father may very well realize that has no has the physical ability he has the eye hand coordination and maybe he's practiced maybe he's trained to be a driver he's not debating that but he's debating whether he is allowed by law so in true cases of disagreement we're gonna see that what disagreement is about is one and the very same proposition and we can't walk away from the disagreement that is we can't decide that they're both right because when we go back to our theory of truth, our conception of truth, one of the two of them is right. The other one is not right. We want to side with the one that is right, though.